Hey everybody from YouTube, it's Alan again, and um, you're looking at the completed 99 Volkswagen conversion. So I didn't have a chance to go over it since uh, the camera broke and we had uh, the issues with the wiring. So I'm going to go over all the systems now so you could see the completed conversion and uh, keep you updated and uh, we'll take a test drive on another video so you can see uh, how it really works. So uh, when you open the hood what you really see uh, in the front the first thing is uh, the top part is a control box. In the control box that's the um, relays, the fuses, the override systems, um, basically all the, the contactor, that, it's all contained in that box so it's uh, weather free, dirt free. Uh, attached to it on the left is an inertia switch uh, in case ever in an accident uh, it'll automatically shut off the system. Um, there's a manual override uh, fuse, uh, I'm sorry, breaker, uh, and that's below the four fuses that you see and that those fuses are for the uh, heater, power steering, vacuum, and what else is it? Oh, and the uh, contactor. So there's a fuse for the contactor also, in case that goes. Um, I forget too. Um, that's attached to a battery box that has 12 lithium ion batteries. And the reason I didn't put all the batteries in the back was a weight issue. I wanted to try to keep the car balanced. Um, I don't want everything in the back because uh, it's a front wheel drive car and I don't want the wheels to have any traction. So we put 12 batteries in the front. And that battery box also acts as the um, support for most of the systems. To the left of that is the pot box potentiometer. And that's where the uh, throttle cable from the uh, foot pedal goes. And that controls the control box. So that black thing attached with a heat sink is the control box and that, uh, I'm sorry, is the controller. That's the control box. That's the controller. Controllers are the heat sink. The controller uh, is basically the carburetor of the electric motor and I'll show you that underneath. And the controller basically is just a, uh, an on-off switch but at um, many cycles a second. So it's basically turning the uh, motor on and off, on and off, very quickly. Uh, attached on the side there, the two wires up on the top that you see, that's the most negative from the battery box and the most positive. So I could take an instant reading uh, with my meter to see what the battery voltage in is. And I'll put a uh, cover over that so that's not uh, exposed. Um, there's the fuse block. Um, there's a fuse on that, that in case there's a short, that'll blow. Uh, to the right of that is a shunt, and the shunt allows me to get all my measurements uh, to the ammeter and my uh, EPRO. So that's the control box. Under the uh, battery box, uh, barely visible, is the adapter from the electric motor to the regular five-speed transmission of the Volkswagen. Um, that's attached with an adapter plate and there's an adapter that takes the spline of the uh, motor and attaches it to the existing flywheel clutch of the Volkswagen. What else you see when you open the hood is that black canister. That's a vacuum reservoir. Um, there is no vacuum or engine vacuum to work off of. So we had to put a uh, electric vacuum pump on, and I'll go underneath the car and show you that one. Uh, aside from that, I swapped out the battery for a smaller size battery, so I have more room. And then I have the AC compressor. It's an electric AC compressor. That's also run on a uh, controller, which is not yet installed. Underneath that, let's see if I can get under there is an electric power steering pump. So I took out the one that one runs off the engine and um, the old gas engine and I stuck a, uh, an electric one on 
and that runs the system uh, the regular way. The regular steering system is there. Okay. So let me just drop down these lights a little bit and maybe we can get a good view underneath the motor. Alright, there it is. That's a uh, net gain warp 9, 9 inch electric motor, and then it's attached with a control with an adapter plate to the regular um, transmission. And that's the view from underneath. And let's see if we could swing around and show you the right there or the back here, the bottom, that's the bottom of the power steering pump. Okay, so let's swing around now and get under here. We see it? Barely. That's the vacuum pump. There is the adapter plate to the motor, so that's the other side. That's a double shafted motor. So you can attach something to that shaft, put a pulley there, and have some other systems run. I don't. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to mosey along to the back. Get some light. Okay, so there's the completed rear of the car. So what you're looking at here, 36 lithium-ion batteries in an aluminum box that's riveted. I cut out the bottom of the VW and I sunk down that box and riveted to the body. On top of that is an aluminum honeycomb, um, you know, just a piece of aluminum honeycomb, aircraft metal, very light, very stiff. I made a shelf and I put the charger and the DC to DC on top of that. That's your rear end and it pretty much tucks away where you can't see it and um, those are Anderson connectors so I could remove that shelf um, that's just a... I'll open that up so you can see that no reason for... you don't need to guess there's no gas but we have the 220 line connection there so I could plug it into a 220 line or a 220 line could plug it in with that type of connector I'm going to switch to when there's a standardization um, I'll swap that out and put the standardized electric plug in that this charger has the ability to do a 220 and a 110 so I have a receptacle box there and that's just plugged into that so I could always swap that out at any time so all I have to do is just unplug it stick it into a regular household outlet to charge it up if I'm someplace else. So that's that's the rear. And inside the car between the two seats is the emergency shutoff pull. That's just a manual pull. So I could pull that and uh, just cut the motor off at any time. There's a switch that I placed under here. That's the heat. The heat is sitting um, underneath that panel. There was a filter there. I pulled it out and I put the heater in that, the heater core, and that's running off the 144, the, the uh, high voltage pack. Um, it's a really good ceramic heater. You do have to um, have the fan going because it'll get hotter if the fan is running the cold of the air through it. It actually gets hotter. Um, there was a pod that I was able to get for three instruments. It looks pretty nice on the dashboard. And I put a uh, vacuum meter 
for the reservoir that shows me the vacuum there to the left is the first one on the left is the air meter that shows me the amps and the middle one is something called an expert pro that's a battery monitor that gives me the uh, voltage of the pack it's got to be um, it gives me the voltage of the pack the amps it gives me the state of charge of the battery pack um, you do have to work with it a little bit to make sure it's synced up so I'm still working on the syncing of that other than that it's a regular VW so that's the end game of the VW what I'm gonna do now is uh, end this video and do another one with a test drive so you get to see um, what it's like so thanks you all for watching um, come back and uh, I'll continue the videos because we'll continue to upgrade this system. Um, I'll take you on a test drive and uh, see you soon.